Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our Mosquito King... Wait. Oh, okay, for one second there I thought our name had changed because it's, you can see how it says Mosquito here in, uh, you know, in terms of spelling, uh, which is the native spelling, if you will, I think. And then this is like a, an odd English word. Um, I don't know, I, I think it should be spelled like that because, like, I don't know, like, it, I haven't read it anywhere, but... Like, surely calling these guys mosquitoes has to be some sort of racial slur, right? Like, because, like, the the mosquito, I, I don't know what that means, but, uh, like, that's a word they always used to call themselves. And then the Spanish and English showed up and were like, hey, like, that sounds super similar to mosquitoes, and this is, like, jungle hell territory, I assume. Well, not if we are to believe Victoria, too, but, I mean, surely there has to be jungles here, right? Right? Because there's, I mean, there are jungles here and there are jungles here, so it wouldn't... Then again, is it... Okay. Yeah, let, I'm not gonna dive into that thing. But yeah, uh, welcome to video. We are continuing uh, our little adventure. Uh, yeah, no, we're definitely in the end game now. And uh, everything at this point sort of re relies upon trying to become a great power. Because I doubt I'm ever going to be strong enough to fight the United States. I have 50 military power, while the United States have a thousand. Then again, how much of that is boats? Quite a lot. Maybe I should get boats. That would be a way to get great power status, actually, because I'm not that far away. I should, I should try to get... Yeah, let, I just decided. It. Let's try and get boats, because I'm running out of infamy and I need to spend it on something. I guess I could go make colonies, but that's just not something I care for. And there, there's no colonies left. I guess I could invade China if I wanted. Oh, Britain. Interesting. Oh, and Japan is colonizing. Yeah, they're really colonizing this place. Yeah, we could meme over in uh, Guangdong, I guess. Like, take a state from them. That would be dumb. Would give us some pops, though. Probably more people here there in, than in our entire nation. But I don't know. I mean, even some of these na uh, Chinese states actually have bigger uh, military score than I do. Ay ay ay. Now, let's just try and go Great Power so we can go invade, like, Nicaragua, or I mean Costa Rica, or wherever. Uh, fuck, it might actually be too late to get boats. But it shouldn't be that much research points to try, so we're gonna give it a shot. Because, of course, it takes so long to upgrade naval bases. Um, yeah, I don't know. This might be a mistake. It probably is, but... Eh. Alright, so Germany and France are at it again. And I think we're actually going to use this opportunity to do a new life in the new world. Um, because we're getting so late in the game now that I sort of... Like, I'm better off getting immigrants now than I am later. Because those immigrants will, of course, show up, assimilate, and then breed. So... Let's do the thing. Let's try and get a nice immigration boost. I don't know how big of a boost that will actually be. Okay, yeah, no, that's literally a, a doubling of the immigrants. Neat. Uh, residency, sure. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't be encouraging residency. It's just such an instinct at this point. Membership in the thing, of course. And barbed wire. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Those are excellent immigration numbers. If only I could get great power. Shadow of War. We will ally with the Russian Empire. Will we, though? Wait, the Russians... Oh, nice! Everyone's just... Yeah, okay, this was an excellent time to do this. The world is burning. Lovely. But will I care? Not really. And the penalty to relations isn't that big, so... I think we'll be fine there. Now I'm just gonna sit on the sign line, you know, produce some goods to sell, you know, some artillery maybe. Yeah, th these are all my capitalists doing this shit. I mean, desperately trying to increase the percentage of them to try and make them fucking upgrade factories and crud. Uh, I guess, yeah, we, yeah, actually, I think we can actually afford at this point to go back to like uh, clerks and shit. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so the Conservatives won the election. I think I'm actually just going to force the Liberals back in because the economy has been doing fine with them in part. Yeah, look at that. I'm even losing money now, now that the Conservatives are here. 
Uh, I'm going to use the opportunity though to upgrade basically everything. <laughs> Uh, so that there will be room for future people. Now I do not have the opportunity to build new factories, but that's fine I guess. Yeah, that should be everything. So let's do that and then we'll immediately force the Liberals back in power. And then we'll take the excellent uh, Orthodox Liberal School. Which, there we go, fixes the economy essentially. Yeah, I don't know. This is interesting. I basically never play liberal in um, in this game, but now we are. Oh, excellent. Brazil is in war, as, at war, which means they won't get any immigrants. And I will. Look at that. 4,000 immigrants. Let's sit for a second there. Let's keep this whole naval upgrade uh, project going. We are all... Yeah, no, this, yeah look at that. It's going to take forever. It's going to be like two years until these ports are done. We did actually get a port here though, which I assume we inherited from whoever owned this previously, which I guess was Colombia? I don't know how they managed to get that kind of a port going, but yeah, I don't know. Because it's not like they have any other ports like that, but they are. All right, so the French are no longer sphering Honduras. I assume that once again was just some random event. I doubt we're going to be able to put it to use though. Um, because they're still allied, and the Americans, while still technically being allied to me, don't like me very much. So, I still need to work on that. So, I, I don't really feel like I can reliably call them into wars, which I want to do if I'm ever going to uh, invade Honduras with uh, French backing. So, maybe later on we can risk it, but uh, I don't know. I, I just want to be a great power so that I can influence these guys on my own battleships. If anything is going to grant me great power, it's going to be battleships. Which I'm researching right now. Peru wants alliance. Eh, sure fam. I see I'm not the only one with rebel issues. Oh, Milton Socialists. Those are the worst. Those are the worst. Because they don't actually, like, they, they give you all the shit social reforms and they don't give you the good ones, like schools and healthcare. Fucking bullshit, man. Ah, espresso, espresso, please cure my depresso. Uh, so sadly the French and uh, German war ended. I guess the French just sort of realized, hey, this was a mistake. Wait, ooh, okay, no mind. It doesn't look like the uh, espresso is going to cure my depresso because the Germans, while they did win the war against the French, completely fucked up these two wars, which is bad because I was kind of hoping that the Austro-Hungarians would be dismantled by the Germans, which would in turn presumably kick them down from great power, allowing me to take that power. Also, oh, Guangdong. For one sec, I thought that was like Peru or something with some stupid flag, but no. Okay, never mind. Forget what I just said. Uh, nice, nice prestige, though. That's good. Oh! That is... That is number eight. Well... And look at that! The Colonial Exposition has opened! Yay! Speaking of colonies, can this place become a state soon? Because I kind of want that to happen already. Uh, I mean, come on. It's not. It's 1915 and the place is like... It's pretty fucking Native American at this point. So, like, come on, lads. Let's get this shit going. Yay! Fucking Mosquito Coast Great Power! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Hey, America! Do, are we still friends? Because, I, yeah, I did manage to get relations above... Uh, negative before this happened. Now, of course, we're going to have to bring, uh, or we're going to have to test our relations even further, uh, because I need to uh, convince the Americans to donate Costa Rica to the greater cause. We're going to start investing in them. Uh, can I not build factories? Because no. Ah, of course, because I'm liberal and liberals. Liberals of, you know, everyone knows that liberal governments never invest in other countries. I mean, it's not like the Americans essentially invested so much in, like, these countries down here that they literally, essentially, took control of their governments. Like, that never happened. Fucking Victoria, too. Uh, but yeah, I mean, do we just go for it, or...? Hmm... Do with some relations. How are we on influence? Could be better there as well. Okay, man. Huh. Thing, thing, thing. 
Venezuela. When did you become so lonely? What's going on here? Well, I, I don't mind if I do. Hey, you want any buddies? No? No buddies? Very well. But yeah, let's prioritize Venezuela for now, because I wouldn't mind uh, convincing them to donate the province of Zulia. That would be uh, very kind of them if they would consider such a thing. Ah, fuck it hell. So, uh, we have an opportunity to get the Germans as an ally, but of course the Germans have... They're currently being shat upon by multiple people. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're still technically winning, uh, but it really doesn't look like they are. How, like, how are the, the Austro-Hungarians even invading up here? Like, that's an odd plan. Once again, I really want the Germans to win this. Uh, uh, but do I just take the alliance? I mean, I'm obviously not going to join any wars. And the only ones who would be salty about it is Austria-Hungary, and I don't care. Yeah, sure. Take the risk. Yeah, okay, never mind. Germany is definitely not winning this. <laughs> ah, ravioli, ravioli. Um, let's keep getting into Venezuela's good uh, graces. That's a, a saying, right? Good graces? Uh, we're working on getting Cuba as a state as well. Overall, progress. Uh, yeah, look at this. Fucking Americans intervening in Mexico. Oof. Alright, I'm currently trying to steal Haiti. Uh, there was just a... Uh, Haiti just went bankrupt, essentially. And unlike the American... I, I guess that's what's going on. Uh, people are going bankrupt, and that's why they randomly get removed from their sphere. Like, do the Americans have, like, infamy? No. Well, fuck, I should have read that, because... Uh, I essentially did the option where you piss off your upper classes, but you get extra relations. Uh, so hopefully I can use this opportunity to snag uh, Haiti from the Americans. Maybe. They just discredited me, but that might not be a bad sign, actually. Uh, Venezuela is basically secure at this point. We should be able to invade them whenever we so please. I doubt I'll be able to annex them before the game ends, though, unless I were to go fascist. Which I might just consider, I don't know. Because that would... Hmm, think, think, think. Is it... Is it... Three states you get to annex? This is why I wish I was streaming. Because then I could have asked chat. Do you get to take a, a nation who has three states, or is it only two states? I should know this, because I mean, I played Grand Colombia and I used fascism to annex Peru, but... Um, It might be three, actually. I don't know. Right, so Haiti has basically been secured at this point. Uh, the Americans can fuck off. Um, which means we can invade Haiti. I did also ask Discord, and Dom told me that uh, if I go fascist, I can annex Venezuela in one go. So I might want to try that. Uh, as long as I can keep the British and whatnot, just, yeah, just convince them to fuck off, which should be doable. Uh, that might be, th that is tempting, because that would be a very nice addition to the nation. But I'm not sure if I want to, once again, I mean, it's just so late in the game, we don't have time to do things, you know? Uh, even more prioritized, though, I really want Costa Rica, so before I'm going to start messing around with fascism, I want to see if I can grab Costa Rica, which should be doable. I just gotta remove them from the American sphere. Uh, of course, I could invade Haiti as well, but I want to save my infamy for uh, Costa Rica in case I get get unlucky. And if I want to invade Venezuela as well, of course, um, I would need to uh, I would need to have some infamy to spare because that's that, that shit is expensive. We're running out of infamy now, though. Um, yeah. All right. So good old Cuba can finally become a state. Excellent. A free state. Yes. Yay! Do you guys have uh, intellectuals? You do. Um, you do not, in fact, have intellectuals. So I will. I mean, once again, it's a bit late to start encouraging intellectuals, but I feel like I should do it just for the principle of it. It's a shame I can't build any factories in the place, but you know, hopefully some things will get going there. Uh, anyways, sorry for the burping, but uh, we've maxed out market or market functionality, which gives us influence. 
So I think it's time to give Costa Rica influence a go. Actually, can I upgrade railroads more? No, they're still going. Very well then. Uh, let's get in there. Everything else can take a break. Uh, unless the Japanese... No, no, the Japanese are chilling down. So that's good. Got some good influence stocked up. Yeah, look at that influence. Yeah, the Americans don't. They, they're not even thinking about it. We, we good, man. Yeah, ooh! Oh, yes, I love killing communists. Excellent. Bloody brilliant, eh? Ooh, we're making money. Uh, that is good, actually, because that means I can fund this thing again. Wait, why am I making money? Because that's a lot of fucking money, man. Let's get some influence going, but... Um... What? Okay, well, fuck taxing the... Well, okay, never mind. Tax, tax, tax the rich, but not that much. Because uh, I have to sort of try and convince them to upgrade factories. That's the thing. They're like... I am the f oh, of course they're going to build lumber mills or I mean sawmills. It's it's such a meme at this point, but it's it's a true meme, right? Look, oh, like, you know, fuck upgrading the ammunition factory. Let's fucking build a fertilizer factory instead. Like I get that the AI is programmed so that it doesn't look into the actual workers. Like well, I mean it does look into the workers and it sees that it's not filled up and as a result it thinks that it doesn't have to upgrade, but it's like Come on, man. This is Victoria 2, not real life. Damn it! They're building more sawmills! God fucking Jesus, fuck! Ah! Wow, the Americans barely put up a fight here. I mean, once again, they did the thing where they discredited me, but they, they, they just don't seem to give a shit at all. Absolutely awesome. Uh, I did the thing where I saved the points. I don't know if that actually mattered, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Unless they all of a sudden will change their minds now. Wow, that is that is a lot of influence. I guess, well, I guess it makes sense. It's, it's a small nation, and I'm a big nation, and, you know, it adds up. Oh, oh, they thought about it. 0 0.2 influence, but that's as far as they got. Okay, excellent. This is good. This means we can annex Costa Rica and link up our... Well, we can't link up our nation quite yet. Of course. I, I should get some military strategy, or uh, shit, military shit, because I want the Panama Canal. And I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to pull that off unless I can convince the Americans to help me out. That's basically the goal at this point. Uh, use the Americans to get the canal and then go fascist, annex Venezuela, and then the game... If I, like, you know, that, that's, the, that's the hopeful part, or th that's, that's what I hope I can do. In, uh, I would not be surprised... Ooh, really? Treaty of Berlin? Oh, that is quite the treaty! <laughs> oh no! The Austrians actually won? That's insane! That was such a long war though, which was good for me of course, but... Um, yeah, because the reason it took so long is that the... Uh, like, uh, fuck, I didn't show that, did I? But like, the, the Austrians had like... They were occupying a fuck ton of shit, but that shit was only giving them like... Uh, 20% war score or something and they had minus 50 battle war score from the early days of the war uh, before the Russians came in and whooped Germany's ass oh, Look at that! France got Alsace-Lorraine after all despite the fact that they lost the war The Austrians are generous indeed. Honestly at this point they should just take it for themselves and well, I guess they can't form Germany because Germany has already formed but look at that. Yeah, Germany is pretty Fucking hell, Germany is basically smaller in this timeline than they are today. Look, yeah, Bavaria has become a... Uh, that's a small Bavaria, though. I guess it's it, it's made like that to not become too border gory. Although, if the Austrians are not going to take control over all of Bavaria, I think this sort of treaty should just give them direct, direct control over it, you know? Uh, it's South German land, and I think the Bavarian and Austrian dialects are pretty similar, so, uh, you know, just plop a bit of propaganda in there and I'm I'm sure you could convince these lads that they are not uh, German at all they're totally Austrian and that's totally different and you know glorious nationalist propaganda has never failed any nation surely uh, but yeah Ooh, the, ah, look at that Belgium even got this place uh, that's historic yo Belgium still has this place today this they got the like that's the reason there's a tiny German minority in Belgium today because after the First World War, the German, the Belgians were like, we want land! And then they took it and realized, oh shit, it's filled with Germans. Well, okay. That didn't gain as much, did it? Well, I mean, if it has coal, then I guess it... I don't know. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. Still, Polish, uh, not independence, basically. 
Poles and yeah, it's always interesting how these nations only have. Okay, so yeah, they only have Polish as accepted. You'd think they have both German and um, and Polish because they're essentially like feudal, feudal like. Ooh, what's that? Autonomous dependency. Interesting. Because the Westpreußen became autonomous dependency. Really. Danzig is in the sphere of Austria. Why are the other ones not that? <laughs> oh, Germany is a secondary power. I guess that's why I'm number seven now. <laughs> Could I sphere? No, let's not even try. Uh, yeah, sure. Good memes. Good memes. Let's uh, get back to the whole uh, invade Costa Rica plan. Alright, so I think it's definitely time to invade Costa Rica now. The Americans are down to neutral and yeah, they don't really have much else to say as a result. So we should be able to just swoop in here and uh, and do what we must. The army is... yeah, I, guess, yeah, I guess we just put that army there because we still have access. Uh, oh, fuck you. We're doing... Yeah, no, 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 we, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. If I got busted right now, I would be happy. Which... No, I did not just get busted. Uh, Haiti, right. Uh, did... Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, what, why did I get influence here? Because I put that on some lower level. Oh, yeah, okay. So I got banned in Peru. Right. That's less than fortunate. Oh fuck yeah, we're just yeah okay. Now now we good, we good, we good. Uh no, we're not gonna add. Yeah shit, maybe I should add hate to my sphere. Maybe I should because I doubt we have enough inf. Well, I mean fuck. Now that I'm getting lucky here, maybe I do will have enough inf me to annex Haiti. Uh, yeah okay, we got busted, but. Uh... But that, that's, that's nothing. I mean, well, it is actually completely... F f it's actually a completely fair amount of uh, infamy in my, f in my, you know. Like, it's only... The country only has 41,000 people. Like, it's a tiny, insignificant country. Like, the fact that you would normally have to pay 22 infamy for that. Um, like, us old-time Victoria 2 folk, we, 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 we remember the time. Uh, oh, shit, a crisis. Shit, do I? No, 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 I don't think I have to care because I'm American and so I don't have to. So you... Wait, Syria? Oh, really? Okay, so the Russian Empire supports Syria and Syria already has the French flag. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we're funding... Shit. Uh, fuck, yeah, I think it's only one in for me to remove from um, Sphere, so why, why, why not? Why don't we put them in our Sphere? We've got some decent pop. Uh, I doubt, yeah, I doubt in annexing Haiti will really be a priority, so let's just swoop here into Costa Rica and do our thing. I see you have made friends with France, though. Were they always that? Yeah, but cordial is not enough, so blah, 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 blah. Just, just do the thing. The United States will not accept. What the fuck is going on? So... Now, all of a sudden, Bolivia will accept, and everyone else will not. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, fine. We'll just invade without you guys. Yeah, fuck you. I mean, it makes sense to some degree, uh, seeing as I just stole this country from his sphere, but, you know. It still is a bit annoying. So, come on, Nate. Let's get this guy nuked. Onward! A certain YouTuber needs to end the episode, and so I need you fuckers to get annexed! Yes! Here we are! The Mosquito Kingdom! Alright, so our name has moved from Cuba to our actual capital territory. Excellent! Might even be possible to assimilate this territory before the game ends, seeing as it has so few people. Now, of course, uh, we really need the canal. Uh, that will be our primary goal. Hopefully the Americans will join for that, even if they didn't join for Costa Rica. But, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll learn 
whether or not that's true in the next episode. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some other dumb shit instead. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.